Hey everyone, we're on another photography adventure. Today we're going to Wishing Tree Reservoir and we're joined by Liffy. Hello. And we're gonna, I'm still going with the aim of sharpest photos possible and um, let's get going. I felt really gay in this <laughs> Looking around, I was like, oh. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm really awkward in front of you. Oh, the wall. <laughs> so it was raining hard all week. And the forecast for every other day apart from today is rain. So I wore these boots just to avoid the mud, but as you can see, it's turned out to be a really nice day. So I'm hoping, I'm actually hoping it's muddy, so there's not, this isn't pointless. Right, so we're gonna go take a urban shortcut through what used to be the Grove School. And none of us have been there for such a while. We're not really sure if we could get through that way anymore. I came here in year six, because uh, for a solar eclipse, and we went to some field, it's the only time I've been here, so I can't really remember. But there was some field and we had these little vision things <laughs> and we saw the eclipse. But I've just been notified that apparently it's been knocked down, is that right? Yeah, it's, it's, it's been knocked down recently. Oh my god, let's go have a look. Knocked down? So hopefully it's going to be a hot pile of trash. So we don't condone breaking the law, but when a place looks like it's something from fallout, there's got to be something to check out. What a great start. So this is the place where I used to spend the worst days of my childhood, because I hated this school, and I'm glad it's gone. Uh, I just find it a bit sad, actually, seeing a school knocked down. It's when you think about the best times of your life, well, for me, you think of the times you had at school, you knew all you, you were surrounded by people you know, friends, and think how many memories were here, and it's just gone. I can't wait to look at these. Where we are, uh, there used to be a hut, like a few huts there. There was a few huts just there. We had one of the entrances to the school right there and the uh, French and language departments. And the further you came along, there was the ICT part departments. Yeah, like the actual entrance to the school was just here, like just on the other side. What, the real entrance? The real entrance to like the reception and everything. Yeah, I feel like I can't look properly with those glasses on because it looks completely different from the camera. <laughs> they're, they're tinted blue, but they come out what pinkish yeah sort of pinky purple well the sky definitely looks purple i was just getting a tiny bit fringed on this expensive l lens but it's not a problem there's light room for that never knew that. i kind of presumed that the higher the aperture the uh you know the more everything's going to be a focus that's what jason used to think but then we taught him that that sucks no i'm just saying that I So this was, uh, I guess, like the janitor's hut or the shed that no one went, like went to. I, I never went here. It was kind of that Freddy Krueger kind of moment of where you thought you'd probably get killed if you walked in. Long exposure to it. Jake the net. I don't know why I got that photo, it's not that interesting really. Bonk. I'm just going to get a photo of this sign that says St Leonard's Academy. Even though it says St Leonard's Academy, this was the Grove. I guess it, all the schools became academies in this area. Yeah, about here. Is it low? I kind of want to try to put a bit higher. 
You're right in the way. <laughs> do you have pride in success? I do. So we took a minor detour through this demolished school, but we're getting back on track and we're heading over to Wishing Tree Reservoir. It's going to be good. A bit of plastic has come off. Plastic turns out that it comes off like that. I've probably just made it a lot worse doing that. <laughs> Like it's only a shit camera. I'm using the 600D, same as last time. Um, no nameplate, and we're filming on the Canon 70D, so same setup as last time. <laughs> oh, those trees look funny. I mean, not trees, I call houses trees. Really? The water on like, these sort of videos. We're almost at the lake, so this is where the fun starts. I just whacked the 50 mil on, um, just been using the 17 to 40 the whole time and it's just weird having a prime on, it just looks tiny doesn't it? But um, yeah, it definitely feels more like a uh, lens that more well suited to handheld photography so um, I'm just going to use it a little bit around here and then we're going to head over that way into the woods and I'm going to actually switch up to the fisheye for a bit and uh, that's my plan. Now, I'll tell you one thing that's good. It's good to have an f-stop lower than f4. Like, this is an f1.4 and it's just, I forgot what it was like because I've been using the uh, L lens for a little while. And, uh, it does really make a huge difference. I love it. I'm going down there. So I took a load of Dutch photos and it turns out it was a really bad idea because I just looked back at them and they're just not good. I feel like I've wasted a good load of memory for that. This is shit. <laughs> so we had a little stop at the uh, fishing lake and we're now moving on to the woods behind it, which I guess is Wishing Tree Woods, I guess. but. We don't actually know, but onwards to what we presume is wishing tree woods. Yeah, these boots suck. We're totally overdressed for today. Like, yeah. when you check the weather, or well, yesterday it was literally one second it was sunny, then it was hailing and snowing and raining hard. So we expected a lot of mud, but who knows? It could actually be muddy, so. I'm actually hoping it is, because I'm really annoyed wearing these boots. I hate them. Does someone want to sit on here? Get a portrait. <laughs> Anything is it needs to be sideways. There'd be more warning if there's a fucking train coming, wouldn't there? Yeah. So we're currently on a railway and just watching out, make sure the train doesn't come. It's pretty scenic, isn't it? Oh, yes, mate. This looks sick. Oh, fish eye. <laughs> How have I missed you? Fucking immediately looks much cooler. <laughs> oh, I love this lens. <laughs> It's going to be some sharp fish eye photos. Sharp fish eye. The plan is to just walk this way. And that is the plan. <laughs> a little bit sick of the tripod. <laughs> a lot to carry around.
don't know, I feel like it's not the right environment for a fisheye for me. I don't know, I'm, I sort of use it for sports mainly. I mean, it's nice to capture a lot of the woods in one go, but I mean, like, standard wide angle, I just want to use that right now. Been to the uh, Wishing Tree Reservoir. We've been through Wishing Tree Woods, and um, we're gonna keep going this way because uh, we think it goes to a clearing, and hopefully we'll be nice and clear, get some nice photos of like open scenery. Um, I've been using a variety of lenses today, but I've really keep defaulting back to the good old L lens, just because. Um, I don't know, because we're outside in a nice scenic area, it just feels right to have a normal wide angle. Uh, the fish eye didn't really work out for me today because um, it's more, I feel like it's more of a like run and gun lens. Um, you want to be able to go sort of weird angles with that, which the conventional tripod just wasn't offering for me. So happy with this lens for now. Um, and that's what I'm going to continue to use as we move on. It's really weird, so everything looks like an Instagram photo. <laughs> Just waiting for the sun to come out, really. Whatever. It suddenly smells really funky this way. Cheeky tactics. Oh, the sun's out. Uh. <laughs> oh, fuck, I always fell forward. There's a, river, a little river in front of you. You would have loved it if I fell forward, wouldn't you? Blood thing, is it? Oh, best thing in 2016. This is sick, I'm getting a photo. Oh, look at that field behind you, though. I want to take more. So word is Indiana's coming down. We're not quite sure where, but he's somewhere over there. But it's literally every two steps we take, we're like, oh, something nice, something nice. Take way too many photos on this path. As soon as we got out, those woods, we've all just been very interested in what's going on. And um, we've travelled like nowhere in about an hour. But we're going to walk down here and probably take a lot more photos. So let's see what's down here. There's this hill here. This hill had um, like this weird shiny stuff on it. Um, it just looked really enticing. And we get there and there's a rusty gate. Um, here's the photo. Um, Oh, we really want to go in there now. It's like they're having some sort of experiments or something, but we've been forced to walk around and we're just literally following the gate now and we're going to see where that takes us. Oh. Oh, I'm really glad I wore boots for this specific point. Yeah, we did it. Only of a little bit of mud. <sighs> Just a little bit. This is why we wore these boots. Wow. <laughs> oh shit, I had live view on the whole time. Oh, it's so bright, I can't actually see. There's some weird looking... I don't know, they look like graves, okay? They look like graves or something from here. There's some crazy stuff happening on this hill. It's definitely government crazy tests, 100%. More like graves on the on the photo. Um, yeah, hey guys. So green, deep, and suddenly it just gives way to be like five foot of deep <laughs> marsh. And it's like one foot, you should be like. 
<laughs> like, literally no, no resistance, it's like, oh man. So I've been chasing to follow up with the guys today. I've just caught up with them just before the end. It's been a busy day. But I've been under the impression I was thinking they're going to be going hard. They've got boots, they're ready, they're up for I'm just having trainers today, but waterproof trousers. And I thought, let's do it. So I've been following them on a hard left, going through a marsh for a while. Realised I was completely in the wrong place. Missed their grove, didn't see any of that stuff. Just um, point there, circled back, found their path, blitzed up, caught up with them fairly quick. Got a bit over eager though, decided I'd um, try and get to this hill they were on. Didn't realise there's quite a steep marsh which suddenly transcends and then suddenly, uh, you know, still legs still dry, feet still dry. But um, yeah, that's, that's what you get for recklessness. But I caught up with them but somehow missed all their scenic stuff and basically just saw head height of reeds and stuff. It was quite beautiful. But I should have noticed from the, the amount of boot tracks I saw heading backwards, not forwards, that maybe the way I was going wasn't the way to go. Well, until the next time, eh? Turns out that it's not called Wishing Tree Woods, it's actually called Crowshaw Warship, and there's a sign right there. But we might travel through quite a few areas, but we got it wrong. So we've done it, we found Indiana, or he's found us rather, but it's sort of coming to the end, really. Um, we've travelled through uh, the abandoned, or not the abandoned, the crushed down Grove School. We've come through Wishing Tree Reservoir, out into Wishing Tree Woods. And now we've come round the back of Coomhaven, which isn't the most glorious scene. But we're literally going to continue on, we'll reach the road, and that'll be the end of this uh, adventure. So it's been, it's been great with you guys, even though India has just turned yeah. up. <laughs> And uh, it's going to be good to uh, have a look at the snaps. Yeah. See you next time. <laughs>